Good evening to our lovely viewers all over the world and welcome to this episode of High Life Dubai Season 7. With Christmas just around the corner, almost every city is lit up with hope and happiness. It's just the perfect time to catch up with friends, plan your outdoor dinners and basically just take in the festivities. Since Dubai has such a huge expat community, many people travel back home to their families and many others stay back here and enjoy the Christmas sales. This being the final week before Christmas, malls are packed with busy shoppers. So we start this action-packed episode with a fairly relaxed pace at the Middle East Coffee and Tea Convention 2011. There's no perfect time to check out beautiful jewellery. We women can do it all year round. Let's take a peek at the Dubai International Jewellery Week. And another high-profile launch is that of Ferrari's newest fragrance, Ferrari Oud Essence. And in the end, we have our own superstars who have come from Dubai to Dubai. Meet the Desi Boys right here in Dubai. Hamesha ki tarah, we packed a nice blend of festivities and glamour to go with the mood right now. So sit back and enjoy the show only on High Life Dubai. Finally, it's here, those chilly mornings where there's a nip in the air and when all you want to do is curl up with a cup of garam garam chai or meet friends over a mug of cappuccino. It's such a welcome change for us here. It's interesting to know that in the UAE, there are about 4,000 coffee and tea houses catering to 65% of the beverage consumption. So, with tea consumption worth over 250 million dirhams and coffee purchases expected to rise 80% by 2014, it's no wonder that the Emirates is considered the region's top coffee and tea market. And that makes this region the perfect setting for the Middle East Coffee and Tea Convention, a dedicated trade event focusing on coffee and tea as a commodity and a business. The Middle East Coffee and Tea Convention successfully integrates all aspects of coffee and tea under one roof, showcasing the latest innovations and featuring the best equipment, services and products from local, regional and international producers and suppliers. Growing scientific evidence of the health benefits of coffee and tea are driving up stronger sales. Given this combination of consumer loyalty and recognition of health value, we can expect coffee and tea to remain one of the Middle East's best-selling commodities. Basically, uh, we carry 12,000 tea-related products. We export to 53 countries for people who are looking for exceptional quality. Fiesta Espresso Expo is uh, an espresso coffee exhibition. We showcase the entire chain of espresso coffee from bean to cup. Fiesta is a unique uh, group of coffee enterprises and is the only recognized industrial coffee district in Europe. We do represent uh, uh, around 12% of the whole coffee Italian world and we are the first uh, Mediterranean coffee port. Through this convention, which was a part of the food and beverage zone of World Discovery Festival, industry players and investors from around the world were given the perfect platform to learn more about current market trends in the Middle East. And now to give you a larger picture, we are going over to the World Discovery Festival. Whoa. 
The World Discovery Festival is an event for consumers who have a thirst for travel, enjoy new experiences and have the disposable income to explore new destinations. It's an event that will combine the exotic with the accessible. Nearby weekend destinations with trips around the globe to offer an incredible account of the world's richness and beauty. Well, the Department of Tourism promotes tourism here in Dubai. And we do that by encouraging tourists to come into Dubai by having events conducted here in Dubai. Malaysia is a fascinating destination. And uh, we have brand uh, Malaysia through Asia. We have chosen the brand because Malaysia is a country where we have uh, uh, multi ethnic and then we have a variety of cultures. And Malaysia is a destination where you could experience uh, from the city to the jungle and uh, underwater and also to the mountain. We are a national tourist symbol of Thailand located in Dubai. Why people should go to Thailand? Thailand, they have so many places, attractive places, diversity of the tourist place to go. Oman is a unique destination. Um, I believe for the whole Middle East, Oman has a lot of things to offer that do not really exist in other countries in the neighborhood. Um, Oman has a very long history. Um, there is a lot of cultural uh, aspects over there that would be definitely considered as unique destinations, uh, especially for the people living in the region. I personally love traveling and visiting new destinations. I enjoy being here in Dubai as well, but there's always this wanderer in me that wants to explore different cultures and lifestyles. And like American playwright Joseph Stein had said, not all those who wander are lost. It's in wandering that they often find their peace. Give that one a thought and I'm going to take a short break. Milte hain break ke baad. After the break, feast your eyes on all that glitters at the Dubai International Jewelry Week, followed by the unveiling of the Vissetti Winter Timepiece Collection from Damas and also the launch of Ferrari's new fragrance.